recording and all that. I really uh, struggle with it. I really struggle with it. it oh, yeah, it says it. Recording yes. now. Fuck, my phone's dying. Are you on your phone? Yeah, I'm on my phone. Oh. Even worse. All right, how about this? I'll, I'll read out what I was writing about this morning. And you can... Did you, did you sleep normal last night? <laughs> Did I what? Sorry. Did you sleep normal last night? Um, decently. It was hard to get to sleep, but when I was asleep, I was out. Yeah. Sleep's been funny these days. Yeah, I know what you mean. I keep I keep waking up for like random times at the night, like wide awake, and then yeah. I sit up for like fifteen minutes, go into the energy, and then seem to like drift off again. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. L- last night, my um. I gave my mum some Reiki and she literally, every time I do it, because she does Reiki as well, so when I do it and I kind of level her out a bit, she kind of gives it back to me. Because <clears throat> obviously I came out of her, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, like as I'm correcting her, it does this weird feed like almost instantly last night where it was like where I was correcting her, it was almost instantly correcting myself because right, I get you. I'm her crystal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it was a I really bizarre, like... um cycle that kind of spins the energy you know like both of our tourist fields were linking and spiraling and then the energy was just going in and out but it was oh, yeah it was really quite a weird experience he sounds, always is with my mum but yeah <laughs> sounds interesting huh so what, what were we talking about yesterday just a lot of shit <laughs> the usual uh, a lot of stuff yeah well we were just saying actually we should probably repeat what we just said if we're gonna if you're recording but um um, well, I kind of summed it up uh, here. Right. Well, no, you were talking about lots of things. I kind of, I kind of um, integrated what you were saying yesterday into kind of my whole gnosis or like how I understand this uh, world. Yeah. Um, it, well, you were just saying before you started recording that we both answering each other's like things that we're looking at <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, they perfectly kind of coincide like the things i'm saying to you are matching some of the things you yeah. say to me but we don't fully understand yeah we don't understand that yeah like but we're kind of talking things. about the same thing aren't we we're in the same wavelength uh-huh. so yeah yeah um, been... so yeah what i wrote down this morning i was talking mad crap you know yesterday i was talking about how air water um, basically, everything is crystalline. It all yeah. has a crystalline structure. Yeah. And when you transition from energy to energy, there's a displacement. And time is what um, harnesses that displacement because time basically allows for it to be staggered instead of instant. Yeah. So, so there's like a kind of... Four- there's like a force between the two. It's like a, we were saying yesterday about how the frequencies aren't echoing right around everyone in squares yeah. and things. So like all the outline, the echoes, the auric field, the, the plasma fields yeah. are all being bounced wrong, which is kind of causing them to disharmonize and then fix, fix yeah. into each other a lot more solid. Uh, but a lot yeah. of it is within the mind also. Yeah, go yeah. on. Um, so my understanding is that uh when you slap water you know when you slap water that's basically a reaction outside of time it's uh your hand gets sore because the energy the your hand moving from one state of energy to another state of energy being from air to water um you think it's to do with the speed so it would be a shock almost where it's like because I, I see a lot to do with speeds, you know. I think yeah, yeah, the guy's core is like a slowed down frequency. Uh, speed is just, um, when you speed things up, it's just you getting closer to an infinite um, source. And when you slow things down, you get to uh, avoid um, reality. But it, it's just like, you know, to such Wait, like say tiny... That again. Pe- Repeat that, sorry. Okay, so basically when, when you speed things up in vibration, you're getting closer to a the, the source, basically, to, um, to a light, 
if that switches. Yeah, because See the way... things transform quicker with heat, obviously, don't they? They change states. Uh-huh. Well, basically, mm-hmm. this is the whole system we're in. There's, uh, there's a split between a light and darkness, and there's this, there's, there's this huge infinite gradient in between where... Oh, that's what you were saying yesterday. What word was you using? Gradient something. Yeah, gradient, concentration, gradient. Yeah, that's it. Concentration, gradient. Yeah, so, so I was saying that was transi- transition. Yeah. Right. Should, should I just read this? Because it kind of sounds Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, right. Let's see here. I just started by saying air, water, and solids are all crystalline structure. When passing from one energy to another, um, that's just, you know, when anything, any energy changes from one thing to another, mm-hmm. it could be heat to uh, movement energy. It could be, uh, you know, kinetic energy to heat energy like that. It could be me just moving my hand from one place to another. When you say another. kinetic energy, what do you mean by, by that? Uh, kinetic, it just means uh, movement energy. So this is kinetic so speed, energy. Speed, speed. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say. It. Or does it like interconnect? <clears throat> is what you're saying? As it does. Um, like, no, it's it? just a no. fancy way to say movement. So it's just yeah. language again, like fractures. Yeah, I, yeah it's just visual, language. <laughs> like we language what talking been you saying. about. Um, so I say. There has to be a gradual displacement to allow space and time to adapt. So yes, to merge, to understand each other again. Well, us disconnected yeah. from Gaia, really. Mm-hmm. So when you slap water, your hand is moving from air to water. Your hand will become sore as the energy displacement within time and space causes the reaction to ripple in an infinite amount of times until the energy has fully diffused. Um, yeah, so then that would be reaction as well. Because if you put your hand slow to water, it would move through, it depends on the approach. Uh huh, I'm getting to that because, yeah, when you allow time to adjust to the change, when you allow your hand to adjust to the change of being within two different matters, um, the water doesn't displace as much, okay. So with air and water being a gradient of condensed energy and looser energy, when the the middleman, see, I'm, it, it's so hard to like fucking. I'm sorry. That's alright. I'm oh, sorry. All right. <clears throat> to be honest, as you're like even looking at the paper, like I'm picking up on your energy and your visuals just from yeah. you looking at it anyway. Because mm-hmm. as you would have picked the paper up, your energy would have gone into the paper, you know. Sometimes, like, mm-hmm. I'll pick up a book and I can see the person's visuals who read the book before from the yeah. just holding the book. Yeah. yeah. You can see. Is, did you draw that at the bottom? Yeah, that. The drawing it's, at the bottom? Yeah, so basically, um, when I when I get fully into this, I'll talk about how that was kind of like source before it was like this condensed little ball of energy within a huge void and we kind of uh moved <laughs> every aspect of emotions further out to where now we're kind of making a structure if within you could conscious. place the void like uh because you know like uh, everything has input output you know like the subconscious would have way in way out um, if you could place the void, like where would you say it would be, like to black hole or to like imagination void or? Uh, I'd say the void is just well, it, it's a you know a plethora. Where would it be of... like a tourist field, like the center of it, or like I'm getting some visions where you're saying void, so I'm just picking. Yeah, no, a void. It's it's an infinite amount of interpretations. Um, when you when you see the perspective I have, it, it's kind of full circle it's infinite so the void is yeah. source it is light but it's it's one and the same all at once yeah. and what we're doing by coming here is we split light from darkness so we have emotions within our consciousness within yeah. our mind which it are it's like tiny pinpoints of color 
within a huge black sea. Yeah, if you get yeah. what I mean. And yeah. now we're we're rearranging, <clears throat> we're rearranging emotions and thoughts, and those colored, you know, colored aspects. Of, I guess it's all the boundaries of of where they've structured it. You know. Yeah. Structured yeah. it and structured it and structured it. The more we break through them, the more that it becomes the wavelengths become more, you know, entwined and weaved in certain ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. It all is different frequencies, isn't it? And then we say emotions. So you say like happiness, sadness, anger, blah blah. But to be honest, it's not just them that actually caps our abilities because there mm-hmm. are actually millions and millions of frequencies, like exactly. there's thousands of portals and subtle open portals in the body, subtle bodies, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, like you said, there's an infinite amount of uh, emotions that we can't really define, um, but we're placing the ones that you can define in specific areas within consciousness so that when the flip between... Um, so it's like a feed again, yeah, in and out. Yeah. So when the flip happens between uh, when when time and space actually gets eradicated, we'll bounce up to the ether level where thoughts and actions happen simultaneously. Yeah. Because <laughs> right now we we're kind of you know we're so we're so in the dark. Uh, yeah. Right. I should probably this is what I'm it. saying about all the equality and like you understood this when I was saying you know, cause I said to some people and their backs go up and they go I don't want to think about it you know but when we look at a state of equality and where this is going and the way you see it's going as well then when mm-hmm. we look at the things you know like money and people talking about the cryptocurrency I'll bring it up briefly but yeah. you know can animals use money no can plants use money no they can't but you know, do plants and animals like listening to frequency? Yes. Do we like listening to frequency? Yes. And it's a state of equality for all to to grow, you know, because our source intake is actually going to change the way we intake energy source, not from food, you know, <clears throat> eventually. So therefore, we have to look at everything on levels of communications through the heart and... Um, that would be with animals and that. It would be through learning all the same frequencies because that's, you know, you can't teach animals language. So we're actually, you said this as well, about we're being capped in the left side of our brains. The left hemisphere is being capped with language, shape and form. Yeah, um, yeah. but we, we need to understand that there's there's two sources of energy within this world. There's a darkness source and a light source. Um, and they both coexist by maintaining each other as a light source would cast a shadow. The shadow can't exist without the light source. So when you're talking about um, uh, language, when you're talking about language and how you can't really interpret language that much, it's just the dark side of this reality. You know, it's the fragmented, um, the split side. So see as as light um as light starts to it, it kind of um where's my finger there it is <laughs> um so as light starts to move outward it kind of it kind of I... spreads <laughs> yeah it spreads out it's it's the same thing with the fragmented language that we have so from source you have basically a full understanding of what are what people are saying you know basically um, telekinesis, um, animals, vibrations, um, everything you're talking about. That's basically how people connect at source. But all yeah. the way at the far ends, you have like cities, um, people burning coal. Away you know, from the, the living waters, the more petrified side of more solidity. Yeah, from the infinite, the infinite um, light. But both. Because you think that would be more hot. Because things aren't really hot and they aren't really cold, are they? They're just different forms of pl- like plasma. So it would be yeah. more hue, yeah. hue, yeah. which what is the crystalline that we're talking about is a state of plasma. Because uh-huh. it's like the hydrogen. Do you know about the hydrogen in the water? Because I reckon that that is a plasmic charge. Uh-huh. So the water's running through 
what we were saying yesterday, like the living waters and the mountains and that, they're running off the quartz. So it's actually charging the hydrogen in the waters, which is charging the plasma in the body, which yeah. is making us more healing. The plasma yeah. heals in the body when you extract. It's only yeah. the, the blood that makes it, obviously, it red, but yeah. when you extract it, you've got plasma, and that's the healing part. Yeah. Uh, I was going to show you this painting, but... Uh, so the um, the painting I'm doing at the moment, I don't know if you can see. Can you see it or not really? Um, no. Not really, not really. No, it's okay, it's okay. Here, wait. I think I sent a picture to you yesterday. Yeah. But I'm seeing more in it this morning. Mm -hmm. Can you see it now? Yeah. See all the details you added. But um, the bit at the top is a red blood cell and then I think that one's standing more for like the plasma but it keeps being pulled apart you know like uh -huh. Melissa did that video on spheres yeah but yeah the red uh, ball in it yesterday so the um so that the uh, the red blood cell at the top I wanted to add purple into it and one of the other paintings I've done with a heart, a human heart, the, the veins on it wanted to be magenta. Mm -hmm. so there's this like fluent pattern coming through of like the higher wavelengths trying to come into my art in these like cellular places. Yeah. yeah. And um, I started getting these visuals yesterday. Uh, I was talking to the shaman in Devon who's training me at the moment. She, we were saying about like the, the red bloodlines in the blue and we were saying about how you know, red and blue make purple and that. And we were visualising our blood purple and it was all making our bodies go really tingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really weird, honestly. Do it for like a week. Like, just start every day, get up and start visualising your blood purple. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you'll know no, what I mean. I can feel that. I can feel that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, what I was talking about, like, I'll... I'll should I just, yeah, I'll just read this. Right. Um even if it doesn't make sense. Um, right, let's see here. Right, so... Your writing's so cute. <laughs> My writing? It looks yeah. similar to mine. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. I'll show you one of my books in a minute, just from above, and you'll see what I mean. Uh-huh. Um... So basically, I tried to link um, slapping water to <laughs> your emotions. Um, it probably won't make sense to you because there's a lot of language barriers. Um, there's like a lot of a lot of. Um, it's basically a lot more fragmented than where you're you're talking from, because you're talking basically in just frequency. You know, most people understand things by uh, what words mean, and they, they go down like this big fragmentation. So basically you have um, energy, energy as a whole, and then yeah. you go down to words, you know, words. Was you doing all this already, or is this something you thought about yesterday? No, it's just what I thought about now. And then you have oh. more. <laughs> See what I mean? It gets. I like it. It bounces nicely. Talking yeah. To so you have more fragmentations from energy, and basically yeah. you're you're interpreting it from, you know, the the baseline, and people. Color. And, yeah, yeah. Basically, color and light and energy, you know, and people interpret things with words, and furthermore, uh, what the words mean inside the, of their minds, you know, because they can't have a they their minds can't accept the reality yet of the fragmentation you know they're they're all the way down here it's where because like, you've been doing it for so long and it's literally been yeah. drummed into them and drummed into them it's just become a so it's like when people learn to drive and then they don't have to think about driving anymore because they just drive like a robot it becomes yeah. second nature it's like uh -huh. 
these things are so embedded within hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years. Yeah. See, but it, it's necessary. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying that um, in order yeah. for it to be fragmented, that's what makes me an individual apart from you. You, you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah. So the way you understand energy and frequency and you you have that you know like the the vibrating feelings you you feel and think in vibrations rather than in words what i'm saying is this place that we're in it's just a fragmented reality of that conscious mind into the two um the two separate minds the conscious mind and the unconscious mind but you've linked the two so you can interpret the reality from the wholesome perspective, you know, of it being just energy and matter, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was so seeing... Go on, go on, carry on. Carry um, on. So what I'm saying is that uh, the system we're in, it's powered by thoughts and emotions uh, split, split into different beings. So source is just split into different soul shards being yeah. you being me and we each, it's fractalized yeah it's fractalized. fractalized and we each have our fractalized thoughts which mm. um it's all completely on a unique footprint depending yeah, it's on all, your perception it's all of your your experience exactly it's all spat out different this is why art and color is a good idea because it's everything and nothing at the same time yeah. you know so everyone yeah. could put whatever they wanted in but it would all have the same about like foundation because this is where we are at a cellular level yes yeah. so it's like we've all come to such a fractured part of Gaia right now that it will only go back to mm-hmm. the one anyway yeah <laughs> yeah what, um, um, what do you see because I see like um when you start to actually look at the language obviously you look where English language is Mm-hmm. You look at where all the other languages are, but you know, like when I lived out in Cambodia, we spoke to Khmer women I lived with all the time who didn't understand English. I don't understand yeah. them, but we communicated, you know, through yeah. our energy fields and just through our body language. And well, yeah, I think I know what you mean. See, each language has a base energy. Yeah. So this so... and everyone's talking at the same time. These yeah, different but... words. If everyone just shut up. Right. Uh-huh. Once you soak the energy I'll in. Shut up, of... <laughs> so don't shut up now let you talk <laughs> no, no, no it's okay so yeah it's the same thing with everything so imagine language um having you know language is very fragmented but it all comes from this base energy so imagine mm-hmm. spanish has its own base energy english has its own base energy uh you know you go to russia it has its own base energy but the words coming from that energy are uh fragmented so once you absorb the energy you'll be able to understand the words easier because yeah, it's like, yeah, go on. yeah because all of the language all of the languages are just from source and it's all just a, a constant split you know it's just a constant um constant split from source it's just you know er- it, but it's infinite if you got what yeah. i mean so, so it, it I'm just kind of turn my light on. Carry on talking. No, you're grand. Um, so so yeah, the the split is the the split is infinite, but in it being infinite, it's enclosed by a whole system, and that's every single aspect of this reality. But what you're interpreting reality from is that wholesome perspective and i love that because you can see past the fragmentation which is the next step of us coming together you know us being able to speak with one language would be arts and frequency everything is a frequency even art because it's a wavelength Mm. but um you know you see these patterns in places with the three you have like the beginning middle and end yeah It's like uh, I've got horses here, so I know a lot of horsey women, and like we already know, understand telepathy in ways because when you show jump, when you do things, you have to build strong bonds with the horses. Yeah. But a lot of women do understand that here, but they have transitions too. So this is how I understand transitions, and like when you ride a horse, for instance, 
to go from a standstill into like a collected canter is really difficult. You have to train the horse for months, you know, to step backwards and then get its muscles ready on certain legs. And then, so you can't just go, you know, to do that, you have to train where it's like from walk to trot to canter. But if you go from like walk straight to canter, you know, there's these transitions that mm-hmm. you do and then you, you warm a horse up and then you have to warm it down. And it's like the same with a song beginning, middle, end, you'd like warm the song up, have the chorus, bring it down. It's the same with fitness. Um, mm-hmm. I have friends that are fitness instructors and stuff, and they yeah. struggle with mental health as well with their clients, and they say it's the same. You know, they come up and then they come down and they use different musics to do it. When I paint, I do the same. Mm-hmm. So there's always this, you know, thing, and I think we need to level it out so it's just yeah. infinite instead of having it... <laughs> You know, See, that's, <laughs> you yeah, that's work. that's what the place we're in is. It's basically just fluctuations which aren't determined by consciousness, and we're making them conscious in order to give them structure and purpose. And once all the unconscious aspects are given purpose, a, a conscious purpose, then what you're talking about as that baseline, it's going to be completed, and it, the baseline is basically a foundation from which we can start to actually do shit, you know, instead of here, we're being subject to things constantly. We're being subject to light. We're being subject to other people talking. And it's like this constant cycle needing a interpreter to interpret a message someone else is saying, you know, the two can't exist without each other. Yeah. Well, this is all communications, isn't it? All the tech. What is the tech? It's all the communications. Yeah. isn't it and this is what we kind of want to change really so then we can become one because how can we become one if we don't understand each other on a certain level you know yeah at the moment it it just seems like it's all kind of crashing into each other emerging in different ways Mm. i I think it's up to uh a certain amount of individuals though like not every single person holds uh a soul shard um not every person has a uh, a significant consciousness, if you get what I mean. Yeah. So it's only up to a few individuals to complete the whole consciousness of all the people. And that's why we're here. Yeah, exactly. Doubling the path out the way. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's what I see us doing on here, you know, like hammering through certain um, threads of consciousness, even like I'll come up to a certain situation and it seems like I'll bang into it when I'm at this level in my subconscious and it feels like there's a thread, you know, with with everyone that's put energy just behind that actual meaning or that thought. And it feels like we, we're pulling them out where we're like able to sit, you know, not dive into them, but see them from a state of outside duality out of time. And then we're able to almost edit them threads and then put them back in other ways when you actually put that belief behind it yourself, which is plasma. Yeah. And your belief is ignited by plasma, you know. Mm. So this and that is hydrogen from the living waters. Mm. And this is what we're being kind of starved from in a way. So we actually want to go and be amping up the living waters, like playing music, live music to plants as they're crystallizing for a start. Then we're consuming that crystallized energy that we've put into it, consuming our own energy, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I think that's what's all mixed at the moment. Like money, for instance. If I want to trade a painting, I do a lot of trades with my art, then I can trade the painting. But if someone has money and I'm selling my art, anyone can buy my painting. But if I'm trading it, I can choose if I want to give it to someone. Money kind of like confuses all of these avenues Mm -hmm. of trade of energies, if you know what I mean. Yeah. When it goes back to other things, you just trade for things you need. So it seems a bit more set to Gaia, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Living with Gaia. Purpose. Yeah, in the living water. Well, you understood this yesterday. You were talking to me about the living waters as well. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm losing light soon, so I'm going to have to go. Well, I've got about another, like, 20 minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah. I kind of want to, like, solidify um, a certain idea. So, yeah, um... basically, you know the way you have hate for someone? 
you'll have to make it a physical manifestation in order for it to become true. Yeah. So let's say there's hate, you need war. Let's say you're happy, so you smile. You know, there's a, a physical representation for emotions. Yeah. And what I'm talking about with the transitions is there's a being in between those tr two transitions, between the etheric, you know, emotional side to mm -hmm. the physical side. There's that... Um, there's that being which kind of distributes uh, thoughts and feelings between the two states of matter, between... The energy uh, and the movement, so you're talking yeah, about so, kinetic. Would that be mm, kinetic? Mm, I'm talking, yeah, basically the same thing as when your hand going from air, the ether, like, being consciousness, yeah. <laughs> hitting the water, being the physical, making ripples in time. So the ripples in time are needed they are necessary in order to create structure. And the structure is basically um, the fragmentation of source into different aspects, which, which um, mirrors into our consciousness. So your consciousness is, it used to be, the, the unconscious mind used to be a void you know, when I talk about the unconscious mind, I talk about the ether realm as well. Yeah. So the ether realm was void of structure, void of meaning. You know, it was just a void, complete void. But now we're placing emotions into it as much as the emotions are placing action and uh, reality mm -hmm. within this realm in density. So the two coincide because of this middleman, which we're basically going to delete after this experience and we're going to bring it all together so the middleman is going to be able to have thoughts and actions at the same time because it'll be outside of time yeah you know as it's progressing in this uh moment you know just a moment without any pulling or pushing mm -hmm. uh and the structure, the structure that we're building right now in the unconscious mind, which we can't yet see, is going to be filled with the light that we hold all the time with our beings. It's going to be filled with that light and it's going to shoot out into all the directions without a mirror or without, um, without density slowing it down, if you get what I mean. Yeah, like, this is one thing I was <clears throat> seeing in my paintings is that like uh -huh. when you go to start a painting, um, a lot of people will uh, move the like composition of the shapes in the painting, the dimensions around where the light source is coming from. Yeah. <clears throat> so like, is the sun in the left? Is a moon at the back shining at there? And then that's where you put the touches of the light to make it more like three yeah. D. Yeah? So, yeah. But I noticed that, like the last few years where I've been analysing my work, where I've actually stopped and sat and looked at it instead of just been doing it all the time, that yeah. a lot of the light source is coming from within the centre yeah. of whatever I'm painting. So it's not coming from without, it's coming okay. from within yeah. us. 100%. And I think that is a huge um, thing. Yeah, I get that's... a lot of messages through my paintings. And yeah, that's the big me transition. The heart is coming from within us. We need to understand that we are holding it within. Yeah. And then <clears throat> once we we'll understand this, then it will be attracting to to the earth to go to the crystals more. Yeah. Because we um, are like um, LCD liquid crystals. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, the, the pineal gland. I've got the pictures here, actually. I was going to show you these the other day. Uh, I put them in one of my videos. Put up, but like, this is the pineal gland. Yeah. Because I was, me and Melissa were looking at the piezoelectric stuff. Yeah. And then I just found this online. It came up in a video of someone. So this is like P's luminescence. And this is like the, the gel I was talking about, the crystalline gel around the pineal gland. And uh -huh. It has the same as our eye retinas too. Literally, quite literally. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, I didn't realise about this. So you've got P's luminescence. Yeah. And then yeah. this is the DMT that gets released. So this gland doesn't understand language the shape and form of it it just understands the wavelengths and the emotions of these but um and then they're the in the 
Mm-hmm. But um, I've been like waking in mine a little bit. I was gonna say she yes, actually. Sometimes I'll like roll energy up from my spine, and then it yeah. like the back of my head's been kind of clicking recently. Where I've been going like this, it's like the fluid in my brain mm-hmm. puts pressure around the 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 crystalline gel in there, and it can like, it, you know like when you open a safe. Yeah. Yeah, with money in and you have to click the code. <laughs> Definitely. That's what it there's kind of codes like that for the body to unlock certain like memories, certain spins mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um that can awaken the body. So like spirals, for instance, I was seeing something the other day, like uh you know a spiral when it goes round. I was being shown it's uh like around our tourist fields is more spiral energy that goes yeah. out and then it goes through the middle, but mm-hmm. The spiraling yeah, is there's in like the a tourist big... field. And yeah, when things you. spiral like that, they're like confusing energy to the center point, which I think yeah. is interesting because it's like the void thing you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So I can see it beaming in and out. And I think <laughs> this is interesting with like language because ours is left to right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Whereas like Egyptians would read hi- hieroglyphs, which would go up and down. Mm-hmm. And I think it's important the way they were reading them and reading shape and form for the pineal gland for the tourist field. In fact, it shoots up and down the chakras and stuff. Yeah. The way they would actually read it, you know? Yeah. I think, you know, it, and like when you look on social media and hear like YouTube, Sky TV, anything, they always spin the circle clockwise. Mm-hmm. Clocks we look at are all clockwise. Yeah. Most people, when they walk their dogs or do things, do it clockwise. Yeah. I've been analysing it for ages. Mm-hmm. So. See, and, that, and that's why we're so dizzy, because we're spinning in one direction. And it's and, our level of decay, too. Yeah. And once we balance the spin out, once we stop spinning in one direction, we'll stop being so dizzy, and we'll stop and this haze that we're in. Yeah. 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 And then they'll, it'll be like... It's kind of like the DNA, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bird strands, right? But yeah, I, I'm losing light, so I'm going to go... No, it's good. Yeah, you can go whenever you want. But uh, yeah, I think we covered enough. Yeah, I got to consider I only spoke to you like the other day, so it's merged quite quickly. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, we'll do this again soon. Uh, yeah, send this to Melissa. I don't know if she'll edit or just put it all up. But no Hello, worries. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Take care. I love you. Love you too. Love you too. Bye. All right. Have a good one. Bye bye.